Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, we will see how can we save the user details in the local storage with the token. We will also implement the functionality to navigate the user to the dashboard component by the user role. So let's get started. You can see here the storage service.ts file. On the top, I'm going to initialize here the variables that is a token and the user. Inside the storage service class, I'm going to create a different methods to save the user details and the token into the local storage of the browser. So the first method, we have the save token. In the argument, it will receive a token that is a type of a string. First of all, we need to remove the existing token from the local storage. So it will be a window dot local storage dot remove item. And inside the argument, we need to pass in the key that is a token. And after that, I'm going to call it the method from the local storage that is a set item. And inside the argument, we need to pass in the key that is a token. And after this, we need to pass in the value that we are getting in the argument of the method. After that, I'm going to create a method to save the user object in the local storage. So first we need to remove the existing user from the local storage. Inside the argument, we need to pass it the key that is a user. And after that, I'm going to call a method from the local storage that is a site item. And inside the argument, we need to pass it the key that is a user. And after the key, we need to pass it the value that is a user object in the form of a JSON. So let me call it the method from the JSON that is a stringify. And inside the argument, we need to pass it the user object that we are getting in the argument. After that, I'm going to create a method to get the token from the local storage. So let me call it the method from the local storage that is a get item. And inside the argument, we need to pass it the key that is a token and it will be a return. After the get token method, I'm going to create a method to get the user from the local storage. So let me call you the method from the local storage that is a get item. And inside the argument, we need to pass it the key that is a user and it will be a type of a JSON. So let me call it the method from the JSON that is a parse. And inside the argument, we need to pass here this line and it will be a return. After the get user method, I'm going to create a method to get the user role from the local storage. Inside the get user role method, I'm going to call a method that is a get user. Let me save the response of this method into this variable that is a user. After getting the user from the local storage, I'm going to add here the condition where we need to check if the user is equal is equal to null. Then we need to return here an empty code. Otherwise, I'm going to return here the user role. So we will get user role from the user dot role. After the get user role method, I'm going to create a method to check is admin logged in or not. Inside this method, I'm going to add a type condition where we need to call a method that is a get token. So it will be a this dot get token. And we need to compare this with null. If we are getting null, then we need to return here the false. Otherwise, we need to get here the user role from the get user role method. So let me call here the method that is a this dot get user role. Let me declare here the variable that is a role and it will be a type of a string. And here I'm going to compare the role with the string that is a admin and it will be a return. If the value of the role will match this string, then it will return the true. Otherwise, it will return the false. Let me copy this method. Let me paste after that. Let me update the method name that is a is employee logged in. And here inside the is employee logged in method, we need to compare the role with the string employee. Second last method I'm going to create here that is a get user ID. Inside this, I'm going to call the method that is a this dot get user. Let me save the response of this method into this variable that is a user. And after this, I'm going to add a def condition where we need to check if the user is equal is equals to null. Then we need to return here the empty quotes. Otherwise, we need to return here the user dot ID. And the last method I'm going to create here that is a logout. 
in this method, we need to clear the local storage. Let me call here the method from the local storage that is a remove item. So first we need to remove the token. And after that, we need to remove here the user object. Now you can take a look of the code. After the implementation of the storage service, let's go to the login component. And here I'm going to write the functionality to save the user details and the token into the local storage. And after that, we need to call a method from the storage service to navigate the user to the dashboard component on the behalf of our role. Inside the if condition, I'm going to create here the user object. Where first, I'm going to set here the ID. So we will get ID from the result. And after that, I'm going to set here the role and we will get the user role from the response. After this, I'm going to call a method from the storage service. That is a save user. Inside the argument, we need to pass here the user object. And after that, I'm going to call here the method from the storage service. That is a save token. And inside the argument, we need to pass here the token that we will get from the response. After saving the user details and the token, I'm going to add here the condition. Inside this, I'm going to call a method from the storage service that is a, is admin logged in. Then we need to navigate the user to the admin dashboard. So let me inject here the router inside the constructor. So it will be at the start router dot navigate by URL. And inside the course, we need to add here the path of the admin dashboard. After this, I'm going to add in the else if. And here I'm going to add the condition that is a storage service dot is employee logged in. Then we need to navigate the user to the employee dashboard. So let me copy this line. And here I'm going to update the path of the employee dashboard that is a slash employee slash dashboard. After the implementation of the login component of TS, I'm going to create a dashboard component for the admin and the employee. You can see the admin module. Let me open here the integrated terminal inside the components package of the admin. Let me write here the command to create the dashboard component. And you can see here dashboard component created successfully inside the admin module. After this, I'm going to create a dashboard component inside the employee module. So let me open here the terminal. Let me write here the command that is a ng g for generate c for component and name of the component that is a dashboard. So you can see here the dashboard component for the employee and the admin. After this, I'm going to register the dashboard component in the routing file of the admin and the employee. You can see here the admin routing module.ts inside the routes. I'm going to add here the path for the dashboard component. And we need to load here the component that is a dashboard component. Let me copy this line. Let's go to employee routing module.ts. Let me paste here the line and let me import the dashboard component from the employee module. Let's go to UI. Let me log in here the admin. Let's click on this login button. And you can see here it's navigating us to the dashboard component of the admin and it also saving the details of the admin and the token into the local storage. You can see here the user object and the token. Let me clear the local storage. And here I'm going to log in the employee. Let's click on this login button. You can see here it's saving the details of the employee in the local storage with the token, but it's not navigating us to the employee dashboard. Let me check what is the issue. Let's go to Angular application. And here inside the else if we need to call a method from the storage service that is up is employee logged in. Let's go to UI. Let me clear the storage. Let's log in again the employee. And you can see here it's navigating us to the employee dashboard and the details of the employee is also saved in the local storage. You can see here the user object and the token. So that's all for now from my side. If you have any confusion, you can do comment. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.